In this video, you'll learn how to do an Ionian style anchoring. While sailing around the Ionian Greek islands, you will more than likely want to anchor in a shallow water bay to stop for lunch, a swim or even overnight. Here we'll break the process down explaining the basic steps to anchoring safely. Please note, this is a guide to anchoring in the Ionian, where there is no tide. When anchoring, you'll lay your anchor upwind with about three to four times the depth's worth of anchor chain. Step one, drive around the bay and scope your spot. Imagine a swing circle around your boat, leaving plenty of room between you and any bits of land where you could hit or run aground. Look for other boats in the vicinity, although they will also swing if the wind changes. Ideally, you want to leave two boat lengths between you and the next boat once you're settled. Step two, once you've found a safe spot, drive four boat lengths directly upwind of that spot to lay the anchor. Prepare the anchor by lowering it to the water's surface. Step three, bring yourself to a stop, check the depth and relay the information to your anchor person. Step four, drop the anchor and keep an eye out for the amount of chain that is going out. All Nisos boats have markings on the anchor chain indicating various lengths. Step five, reverse slowly while the anchor is dropping. Step six, it's important the anchor person tells the helms person when each chain mark goes by using hand signals. Step seven, stop paying out anchor chain when you've reached the desired length, three to four times the depth, and signal to the helms person that you've done so. Step eight, allow the boat to sit for a minute until you settle. Step nine, Find transits on the shore by lining up two points on the land. It could be a tree in the foreground and one in the background, or a house and a tree. Step 9. Do a burst of a stern at 1800 revs for 5 to 10 seconds, simulating a gust of wind. And check the transit doesn't change during the burst. If your transit changes dramatically at this stage, your anchor is dragging. Lift it up and redrop, repeating the above steps. Take a mental note of the position of your anchor, your boat and its surroundings. If the wind changes or increases, you can then work out whether you're roughly in the spot you should be, even if your boat is pointing in a different direction. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below and please like, share and subscribe. If you'd like to charter a boat and hone your anchoring skills, get in contact with Rowan via email or phone.